My first time posting here but I have a spooky story to share about a time some friends and I went Rebex in Vermont on a vacation. Will Green text. 2017, in college, summer is approaching and dorm mate suggests going to Vermont. Some other people join up, suggest going out to Shaftesbury to hike, smoke pot, fuck. I immediately think, this is how horror movies start. Head there, bum around the state park but nothing good really happens. We head to town, which has very little going on outside the shitty motel we rented. Talk with clerk, let him know we are sightseeing. He brings up Glasenbury, east of town deep in the forest, a ghost town. Roommate's friend immediately says we're going, next morning, we all wake up at the crack of dawn. On the way to the trail, friend on his phone says this area is the Bennington Triangle, known for a series of disappearances in the area. We all laugh, but honestly we got a bit worked up. We approach a trailhead near where the village was, park and talk with some other hikers. They all laugh and say they've never seen a ghost town in the woods, or even the foundation supposedly left behind. We decide to hike anyways, we all head out following the map we printed out at the motel from some website, following the Glastonbury Loop, roommate's friend is using her phone as GPS as we hike. Hike sucks, it's all uphill somehow into the Glastonbury wilderness. How bad can it be? We're near a college town. The heat that day was bad, bugs everywhere, the buzzing is driving us nuts. After like four hours or so we make it to an abandoned cabin rotting in the woods. It's small, only one room, with a rusted out stove and some broken glass everywhere. Inside we also find a bunch of bones scattered across the floor, roommate's friend mentions it's probably from coyotes or bobcats prey, following trail still, approach a sign in the middle of the woods, one of those national parks 1s that say you are here, decide to take the detour from the map we had and start following a river further uphill. The hike takes another hour until we reach the forks, which was the outskirts of the town, roommate's friend begins to hear noises in the woods, like people following us. Figure it's more hikers, this area is well known, move up the river, ruins everywhere overgrown by trees, nothing really to see but trouble. More movement in the distance, it's summer so again we think it could be other hikers. The six of us keep marching up the hill spotting different ruins as we progress. Roommate shouts out from about 50 yards deeper up the mountain. A path has appeared made of crushed up white rocks everywhere, deep in the brush. We all laugh and decide this is the best place to continue on, roommate's friend is upset and doesn't want to continue. We all march up the path and eventually find piles of rocks everywhere, like rocky mounds covered in moss. Walking in the woods resumes, roommate starts shouting out telling the people walking around us to join us, or maybe to try and scare animals away. We decide to head back as this adventure is a bust, and start the trek back. That's when things got weird. The ghost as we head back toward the ghost town, the path we follow continues and we never see it. We begin to wonder if we missed a turn that would have brought us back to familiar areas. The walking in the distance is continuing, we start to get worried as it's now around 2-3 pm and it should take a few more hours to get back to the car. We trek deeper and deeper but we realize now we're lost as we can't find the river near the ghost town. After another hour of hiking, the sun is starting to get low through the trees. We start yelling for help, hoping the outside walking noises are people who can help. Roommate's friend is getting angry now and running off ahead to figure out if they are help, or if we're going to die. She vanishes for about half an hour, we're really worried now and of course some idiot brings up the Blair Witch. Like magic, we hear the missing friend yell she founds, we follow her and find an old three-story house surrounded by dead trees, we are freaking out now. She hadn't been inside, the door is locked. Also, no more walking in the distance. We look around and despite the ghost town from the late 1800s being completely consumed by the forest, this house is completely intact despite some weathering. Even the windows aren't broken we debate whether to go into the house. I say yes in case there's an old phone or a map. 
roommate is very against, but the vote goes 4-2. We manage to get the back door of the house open, inside, the house is very spartan, simple wooden furniture. We realize we're in a kitchen as there's a huge fireplace with a blackened hearth. Outside we hear a giant crash in the distance, like a tree limb falling. We call out to my roommate and the other friend who stayed outside, they rush inside stating that the walking was really close now. More old things in the house, books and bottles, but no phone and nothing that looked like a map. We debate where we are since the phones no longer work to track us like GPS, the six of us decide to head west toward the setting sun since there's gonna be a highway there eventually. We leave the house, and head off towards the setting sunlight while the walking continues to follow us. Hours go by, eventually we happen upon some hikers. We are close by Manchester Centre, a town about 20 miles north of where we were parked. Couple who found us gives us water, some other hikers volunteer to take us back to our SUV. We immediately drove back to Albany, everyone was quiet on the ride back. It became a good party story about the time we got lost in the woods and found the Blair Witch House. Seriously, to this day I am not sure what happened. I've seen YouTube videos going to the ghost town but the house is never talked about. I am not sure if it was a witch's house or someone's hunting cabin. I have no interest in going back, Blair Witch. Oh fuck.